Howdy, it's Wednesday, December 3rd, and we're getting ready to drill some grass seed and new waterway and some patches and old waterways. Um, so our uh, dirt contractor got the terraces all finished, so we got one terrace here and there's four on the other side of this hill and several on another farm um, that got finished up last week. Um, but right now we're going to go down here and uh, there's some spots, you can kind of see where the dirt is up here in the grass. Um, where there was some uh, damage to the waterway where it had kind of washed out the center. Um, gonna drill that in, um, seed in a mix of cereal rye and uh, a grass mix that has, I think, Timothy and uh, Orchard and a couple other species. Um, so we're just gonna seed in there. Uh, hopefully the cereal rye will get kind of established first and get us some ground cover and then the other uh, perennial grass seeds will come up uh, after that. Um, so we've got the drill back here. Um, I had a hydraulic fitting we screwed up last week that I got fixed. It wasn't actually too big of a deal. It was only like $5 fitting, which was nice. Uh, and also took off that quick hitch. Um, so the three point is just sitting there now, but we don't have the hooks to catch on the hoses. So hopefully that won't be a problem today. Um, so I'm gonna spot in these little spots and then I'll try to get some more footage when we get down to the new waterway down there um, to kind of show what we're working on. All right, we're down on the bottom now. So I got um, the seating done kind of in the spots uh, along the waterway there and went ahead and put a little bit of uh, seed along the side where stuff kind of got torn up when they put the tile line in. Um, but this is the area where we're gonna work next here. Um, this is the new, new waterway. So I think our design spec is like 42 feet wide, I believe. So we got a 15 foot drill. Um, so we'll kind of tweak that a little bit, um, but about three passes. Probably I'm going to kind of double up the center, so we'll just like make a pass down the middle and then split that. Or I don't know, I might like do some figure eight passes too. It seems like that helps hold stuff in. Um, but basically we're going to try to get as much seat as possible down the middle and then a decent amount on the edges as well. But the middle is what we really want to try to get to stick. Um, Again, seeding some cereal rye along with some perennial grasses that uh, hopefully the cereal rye at least will get established and get enough ground cover to keep this from washing out. Um, I don't have the most faith in uh, dormant seeding perennial grasses like this, so probably I'm gonna come back and overseed some more either in the spring or um, in the fall next year, depending on kind of how things play out weather-wise and um, timing on everything. So. Um, we're going to get some seed in here and then uh, got a new intake over here that we're going to put a little bit of grass uh, along the bank on that also um, and then we'll be done. Should be a pretty quick trip today um, but trying to get stuff seeded down while it's dry and it'll, it'll, it's going to be uh, warm for another I think four or five days and then probably get cold. Um, so trying to get the rye out here and established as fast as possible. Uh, I think it's going to be 50 this afternoon, uh, if you can see, I'm not even wearing a coat right now. Um, and it's definitely high 40s probably right now. Um, so we have a fair chance to get some rye at least started germinating. I think it'll germinate down to like 34 degrees or something like that. Um, so we've got a decent stretch here to at least kind of get it started and then when it does get cold it'll just go dormant and hopefully grow um, whenever, it, whenever we have a warm spell or whenever it warms up in the spring. All right, so we're seeing across the water right here now. Um, I'm not trying to go real deep because I don't want to stir up a whole bunch of dirt. Uh, I'm just trying to kind of get a little bit of contact with those coulters to break things up a little bit so that the openers will go in. And I think I did decide I'm just going to do three passes um, straight up here to uh, kind of get my width established. And then I'm probably going to uh, definitely spot in some like down here where it cuts into the creek. Um, going across and probably like this last 50 or 100 feet I'll do some of that and then probably we'll kind of make some uh, weaving passes through the middle um, to double up that area that's gonna see most of the water um, there's a pretty large area that comes through this waterway um, so uh, it's definitely at risk of erosion if we get a big rain or a fast rain even if it's not real big um,
So we want to try to make sure we get a good amount of seed down that center section because that's the first thing that'll wash um, whenever we get surface water. And there's definitely quite a bit of surface water, um, both off of ours and our neighbor. Not sure how easy it's gonna be to see on the camera, but uh, I made the first uh, figure eight pass. So basically just kind of zigzag, uh, clear up the waterway. You can kind of see maybe so the curves here at least and some other spots up there that look a little bit different or where you see disturbances in the straight rows. Um, so basically what I'm trying to do here is go back over everything. Um, whenever we do these, I like to sort of set the drill at a low rate and then just run over things a couple times um, as opposed to trying to seed it all in one shot and then uh, having heavy seeding in rows that go the same direction as the water. Um, so I did the, the straight rows first to kind of establish the waterway or the boundaries of the waterway. Um, and then basically I'm trying to zigzag or I made one zigzag pass, um, just kind of circling down through there. And now I'm gonna go through and sort of like uh, do the opposite side of the figure eight pattern um, to fill that in and try to uh, get as much seed down that center of that waterway and also uh, avoid having those straight rows. Um, so we're cutting across that center section. Um, so we're gonna have kind of a checkerboard or like a, a zigzag pattern of the rows there that hopefully will help hold the water um, and make sure it doesn't wash out. Um, so I'll try to hold the camera as I see this one, although it's kind of difficult probably to do that as I drive. So I'm not gonna make any guarantees that this will make the final cut. We can see there's one that comes around so we're just gonna kind of split the middles trying to hit um, so the right edge of the drill now where the uh, opposite side was on the previous pass not an exact science we're just trying to get some seed on the ground here and probably we'll let this dry out today um, and then come back over tomorrow hopefully i need to get the combine cleaned up or want to get the combine blown off while it's still warm here um, before things turn cold so i'm going to kind of try to get the seating done right now uh, here early afternoon today um, and then get started on cleaning the combine up and uh, planning on coming back over tomorrow we might hit this with a harrow depending on how dry it gets um, but want to put some erosion control matting so it's basically a kind of a straw mat um, with some uh, plastic mesh, I think, also, and kind of try to uh, fortify this end where the water's cutting into the creek. It kind of drops off um, pretty fast here at this end, um, and that's gonna be sort of like the, the peak uh, flow also as far as like catching the water that comes off of this hill um, and everything. So usually the, the first spots where you'll have problems are down the middle of the waterway. Um, we're just cutting out um, and then also like at the end where it drops off into the creek, you'll have it wash or cut back um, where you have kind of a, a ditch started and you want to try to avoid that as much as possible um, to keep a nice flat bottom and get some grass there that the water can go over without taking the dirt with it. All right, I think we're done with the waterway. Uh, ended up doing uh, two passes or two pairs, I guess, of the zigzag passes or the figure eight passes. Um, so I should have run over everything at least twice and some of the stuff in the middle probably has four, but that's okay. Um, Cause we want a lot of seed there. And if we have sort of like some areas with more seed and areas with less, um, that hopefully will help slow things down. Um, the soil right now is still pretty gummy and packed. Um, so we're gonna let it dry off. Um, as you can see, we're kind of just trying to get the seed on the ground. Um, and then if we can get it dried off enough to where we can kind of break up some of these clumps, right now everything is pretty smeared or um, dense, I guess, from being run over by the dozer. Um, we'll kind of run through there with that and break some of this up to give a little bit better seed to soil contact. Um, running it over a couple times, some of those earlier passes, obviously going over it with the drill the second time will give that some better seed to soil contact. So hopefully at least some of it will come up. 
Um, the cereal rye I'm not as worried about, but the actual perennial grasses um, seeding this time of year is kind of a long shot. I mean, you can kind of see here we've got the rye seeds and then that's some sort of a perennial grass seed that right by my fingertip, the smaller seeds. But that's what we've got. Um, so we're gonna bring that straw matting over tomorrow and uh, also use that. So if we get it dry enough, we can hit it with the harrow. We'll do that first and then planning on kind of putting a piece of the straw mat uh, sideways across the waterway here at the end um, and then overlapping. Um, I think it's like eight feet wide, uh, overlapping a piece that would kind of go up the middle here and then maybe also do some up at the top end there um, where it comes onto the new waterway off the old because um, I think that that could be a spot that might have some erosion problems also. Um, so next spot we're going to head is just do a little bit of seeding around this new intake here um, to kind of restore the grass on the ditch bank and uh, get some stuff established there. I'm going to have like one planter pass essentially between the intake and the bank but there probably will be 10 or 15 feet of grass there um, so that if the intake can't take all the water away it'll hopefully go over but not wash is the idea we'll see how things work